have Windows Live, we're going to now go into this and we're going to turn off parental controls for the program that's built into Windows. And you'll push OK. And then you're going to go down and you're going to select back down to the select the provider and you go to Windows Live Family Safety. This is basically the program that allows you to. Now, this is basically the program that comes with Windows Live, or one of the programs that comes with Windows Live when you install Windows Live. And basically, what it's going to allow you to do is you're going to need a username and account, which should be which will be in the tutorial when you access when you install Windows Live using the tutorial. What you're going to do is with that selected and the select the provider is going to you're going to click on the account that you made earlier. It's going to ask you the same thing, and then it's going to come up with the username and password, and you're just going to simply put in your username and password. and you can click sign in. And then it's going to come up right here. Might you have to might have to click down here. And it's going to come up with this box here. And what it's going to do is it's going to list all the accounts on your computer right now. Along with the standard accounts going to be on the top, and then you got your ministers on the bottom right here. What you're going to do is you're going to check the box. Basically, you can check the box in any account that you want to do. You can do them all at once with this program. It just makes this program pretty nice. And then you can go to next, and then it goes access control. This is the members based and then you're just gonna click save. Alright. You have to wait a little bit. Alright. And then you're gonna it's gonna come with this settings right here. And it's gonna have this little message up here that says if you want to set these accounts, then go to the family safety website. And you're just gonna click on the family safety dot live dot com link. It's gonna bring up the website. Alright. And so basically what you got here is anything that happens on that account you can actually see through this website and then basically all you would have to do is go to view activity report and it's going to basically since we haven't done anything on it it's going to say zero for web activity and then you can do internet activity and computer activity basically in the computer activities anything that they do on the computer like what games they play what files they download what programs they use, what sessions that have they done that are active at the time. And then you can also go up to web filtering here and access control and you can filter anything on the that you want them to not be able to have access to on the internet. Basically, it starts an online communication, which is basic, but then you can also lower it down to child friendly if you only want your child to have access to child friendly sites that are not adult rated or have adult content on their sites. And then you would click save up here in the yellow box. And then you can go down the web filterings list. You can also block down any specific website that you know of that your child would have access to that you can actually block through here. And then you would go down to contact management 
and it's basically what this does is controls who your child chats with or anything shares emails with or anything that your child has done through the internet it also has the specific stuff that they have the program with built-in windows had which would you would turn on that with the time limits and all this is going to do is basically it's the same thing that was before you would click here in a box and then you would just drag for whatever the time limit you wanted or a section that you didn't want your child to have and then you got the next section is also basically the same thing as the game restrictions you would turn that on and allows games that aren't rated and basically instead of a checkbox it's just a scroll and it comes up and it highlights the whole way down from early childhood to adult rated games and then you the programs section here is actually much more simple than what the program built in you would turn that on this is actually a lot more organized than the other one as you see it would actually name the programs instead of every .exe file or executable file that is in, on your computer and that would be about it so if you want to download Windows Live, there should I will post a tutorial on how to do that and install that and set up an account. And thank you.